In this video, I'm going to be sharing how to utilize this 100% free mobile sports betting model that can be accessed via the link in the description. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. Really excited to bring this to everybody and I think everyone's going to like it. This is a 100% free mobile sports betting model that I've built, that I've utilized, that I think is very helpful, especially for anyone who is watching the game at a friend's house, family, or just at a restaurant and wants to be able to play some wagers, but actually have an objective way of valuing their bets. This is a great tool. You can pull it up via Google Sheets or Office 365 mobile, enter in some key information and be able to know the exact amount to wager, whether or not you should wager. Um, so I'll walk through each section. There's a lot here. Um, it may seem really simple, but I think um, it's gonna provide a lot of value to a lot of people. So. I've broken it into three table sections here. The first one I'm calling the Kelly Criterion Calculations. This is to be able to determine the optimal bet size based on what a sports book's offering for odds and what the actual implied win percentage is on the wager with your account value and your Kelly adjustment plugged in here. So if you're watching a game and you see a big momentum swing, if this is a football game and somebody just gets a pick six or scores a touchdown and you're thinking, okay, now would be a good opportunity to see what kind of live lines are being offered by sports books and what you think the win percentage is. You could use a um, ESPN or some other platform that offers like in-game win percentages. You could plug that in here. I have 61% plugged in. You can make that 75 and then you could go see what sports books are offering. Um, if there's you go to DraftKings and say, okay, they're, they're offering minus 140. I think there's actually a 75% chance of the team to win now with I have a thousand dollar account value and a Kelly adjustment factor of 0.25. I know I should wager hundred dollars right now. Um, if that goes down to 60, then I know, okay, it's probably like a $10 bet. Or if the, the lines have moved and, and now we're getting offered minus 160, then I know, okay, this is not a, a bet to place. So this is just a really good objective way to make I would say in-game or just pre-game, you're on your phone and just wanting to play some bets before a, a game kicks off. And you need to have a way of actually valuing what um, the outcomes are going to be and not just placing random $5, $10, $20 bets, but have a way to bet the optimal amount based on what the sports books are offering and then what, this, what you anticipate the win percentage to be. And you can either get that um, using a applied expected value method, which I'll talk about later, or if you um, are seeing some in-game or pre-game win probabilities from different platforms, you could plug those in. Or if you could just want to have an idea of what you think the win percentage is, I would say have that value in your head before you plug it into the model so you're not skewing the numbers and just putting in a win percentage that makes it so you, you bet. So if you really did think, all right, right now there's a 60% chance for the team to win, you plug that in, you see, oh, that's not a bet to place because I'm only getting offered uh, odds of minus 160, then don't place the bet. That's how you get those emotions involved in sports betting. That's how you you definitely come out a loser in the long run. So that's what this first section is going to be. And then a couple other things that are helpful with the numbers here is you can see that we have American odds in C3, over on the right, we have that converted to decimal odds. And then you can see what the sports book win percentage is based on their odds. So minus 160, that converts to 61.54%. We can move that around. So plus 110, that's 47.62. So it gives you opportunity just to see what how odds convert to, American odds convert to decimal odds or uh, probability percentage. Then I have how much of your, your bankroll you should um, wager at a specific time. So that's just nice to know, like, what is this 59, you know, with a thousand, it's easy because it's 5.9, but if we have a different amount, then it's nice to know exactly how much the 7534 represents of our account value. Then I have the expected value percent in there. So that's a lot of good information. Again, this is something that I would suggest using if you're just going to be trying to place bets, um, at, you know, pre-game or just you're at a you're at a gathering and you want to be able to you know bet on some games you're watching it you're you're into it have an objective way of measuring what you're betting on don't just go blindly placing bets and so this is a good way to be able to do that 
And so the second section I'm calling the no vig and break even odds calculations. So let's say you're getting ready to watch a game and you want to know, okay, what would be a expected value bet that I could place on the, on a, a game and you could go over to Pinnacle, look up the odds that are offering. So like plus 261, minus 314. And you can see, okay, big percent percentages. So 103.55%. So I know I have a 3.55% VIG in those lines. Let's remove that VIG to get us to the 100%. So this is our break-even odds. Uh, plus 274, minus 274. And then I have the market width in here as well. And so this is great if you want to be able to do expected value betting on the fly because um, expected value betting does take some time because you've got to go to Pinnacle, a sharp sports book, get the odds, devig them, find the break even odds, then you got to go line shop. So I would say this is definitely um, something that I would do with just one off games. I have models that uh, are available that look at every game and make it a lot easier to do. Um, the entire week lineup of NFL games, for example. But if you're just keen in on one game and you just want to see, okay, is there any EV offerings right now? You could do this, get your break even odds, plug that in up here. So plus 274, sports books offering, let's say plus 280. My win percentage is 26.75%. So $1.88, small wager. The odds aren't. You know, it's not that big of an EV bet, but it is an EV bet. And that's a way you could quickly do it all on the same sheet. So you're not having to flip between different online calculators. I wanted to make this so it's a one stop shop for you to be able to do a lot of different analysis on your phone while you're watching a game or better to watch a game and feel really confident that what you're doing is actually profitable in the long run. You're not just throwing darts at a wall and hoping that um, some of your bets hit. So that's the sex second section here. And then the final section is actually split into two. So I'm calling the first part of it the profit boost and arbitrage calculations. So a lot of sports books, DraftKings is great about giving out these 50% profit boost or 25% profit boost. And so this is going to tell you what those odds convert to. So right now, MLB offerings are almost every day you're getting a 50% MLB profit boost. Typically, they max you at about $10. $10 bet, but sometimes that can go up to 50. But what this is going to do is say, okay, $10 bet, we get a 50% boost. And I'm getting odds right now before the boost of plus 188. What does that convert to? So this long formula up top, that can that'll convert our profit boost odds for us. So if you have ever wanted to know, okay, even and this, especially with parlays as well, like there's going to be profit boost opportunities on parlays. What is my pre-boost odds? What does that convert to? So this does all that math for you so you know, okay, I'm going to get plus 282 after I apply my profit boost. And then what I like to do is you can actually use this to do a same sportsbook arbitrage opportunity. So let's say this is an MLB example, and I know I get a 50% boost. I'm getting plus 188 on the underdog, and then I see the, say the money line on the favorites minus 225. So I plug this in. I have the math down here. We can see that we have the $10 wager. That's our max bet. So you always, always max out your profit boost. If it's $10, it's, if it's $50, use all of that profit boost. That is the optimal way to bet on those. So I know that equates to $38.20 payout with me winning $28.20 with the ROI of 282%. And then my arbitrage bet is going to be $26.45. And that gets me the exact same payout, so 3820s. So I have zero risk right now. And then I'm going to win $11.75 for a risk-free arbitrage opportunity of $1.75 for a 4.8% ROI. So that is how I utilize this calculator. If you don't have a profit boost and just want to see what the different odds would be if if you want to look at different sports books and and be able to say, okay, maybe there is a, a arbitrage opportunity without a profit boost, you can just make that profit boost percent zero. You're getting plus 188 on FanDuel. You're getting minus 180 on DraftKings, 29 cent arbitrage app opportunity there. So there's a lot of different ways to utilize that. And then also you can see that we have a payout calculator here. So if you don't want to use any of that, you just want to know if I bet $10, on 
180 odds, what does that equal as far as a payout and how much I win and what the ROI is. You can utilize it for that too. So you can just disregard all the profit boost or any arbitrage and just use it as a payout calculator as well. So a lot of different ways you can utilize this. And then over here on the right is the final piece of the, the model. And that is for parlay odds, non same game parlays. So these are all round robin parlays. I have four legs here. You can utilize it, clear out one if you just want to do a three leg or a, or a two leg, whatever you're, whatever you want to do, because the math's going to work out. I have the logic so you can, you can remove one leg or two legs if you want, but this is going to tell you what the percentages are. So we're going to put in our American odds. It's going to convert those to implied win percentages, and then you'll get the total odds for your parlay. So 1808, 5.2% chance of hitting on this. You can move this around to whatever you want to just to see what different parlay opportunities. And so you could take this plus 802, plug it in over here, and let's say you're getting a 25% parlay boost. So you know this 802 with my 25% boost is actually gonna be odds of just over a thousand. And so, and then you can see a $10 wager is gonna equal to $110.25 payout with me winning $100.25. So that's how you can incorporate parlays into this as well. So went over a lot there, but like I said, this is 100% free, link in the description, pull it up on Google Sheets or Mobile Office 365, and you can utilize this whenever you're you're not at a computer and not having time to go through and analyze a lot of different games. If you want to do some one-offs, you see you have an offer on DraftKings or FanDuel or BetMGM, whatever sportsbook it is, and you want to say, okay, how can I maximize this promo? Plug it in here, utilize it. A lot of different things that you can do, but one to provide this resource to everybody is something I've really relied on heavily, especially if I'm not at a computer and can do my full analysis on sports betting. I like to have it on my phone in one stop so I'm not having to go to multiple different calculators. So all I ask is if you do download it, please like and subscribe to the channel. A lot of what I do is going to be providing a lot of sports betting stuff, a lot of really easy to use sports betting calculators and models. I have a link in the description to my Etsy page where I have EV models, uh, bet trackers, parlays, arbitrage models, a lot of different opportunities there. So hope hope you found this helpful. Um, feel free to leave a, a comment of anything else you'd like to see or how you're utilizing it. Uh, appreciate the feedback and have a good day and God bless.